So, Philip, it's all over to you, sir. Yes, I'm going to waste some more of your valuable time um, <laughs> with asking you to, to play another little subsidiary game while you're glued to the advertisements and your tea. Um, now, we're always being told to eat more fruit and vegetables, aren't we? Very laudable, of course. Um, so today's game is dedicated to the market garden and all who grow in it. Um, how many so And also to the music business, of course, because it combines the two. How many songs can you think of that include types of fruit and vegetable in the title? It's not terribly romantic, but it's terribly good for you. Um, while you're pondering, um, and while you pay close attention to the adverts, of course, uh, here's a little poem. Actually, because they're on special offer today, slightly bruised, but still very good, I've got two little poems, and they're both by Hilaire Belloc, and they were written, I think, during the 1920s. The first one goes like this. Lord Finchley tried to mend the electric light himself. It struck him dead, and serve him right. It is the business of the wealthy man to give employment to the artisan. And the other one, I'm tired of love... I'm still more tired of rhyme, but money gives me pleasure all the time. Fruit and veg, Richard. Yes, I know. I, I, well, OK. Uh, quick ones. Uh, an apple for the teacher. Mm -hmm. Cherry ripe, cherry ripe. And here's a good one. <laughs> I don't know the first line, but the second line goes, D -d 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 be with me, my melancholy baby. <laughs> And, oh, yeah. and I've got a lovely pair of bunch of coconuts. <laughs> and indeed, at the risk of seeming ungentlemanly. Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, think on, think on. But not before you've thought of this one. Sissy moon. OK, sissy moon. That's the uh, little word here. Here's a clue. Oh, no clue. It's been left out. on four. Well, uh, no clue it's been left out, of course, uh, was uh, an omission. An omission. So that is the answer to the uh, teaser omission. Now, what have you got, my old fruit? Yes, no omissions in my list. Um, well, the, uh, the Beatles, of course, took us to Strawberry Fields forever. Uh, Prince admired a raspberry beret under yeah. a cherry moon, perhaps. Uh, <coughs> several oranges went into the making of La Belle's Lady Marmalade, I'm sure. Um, Harry <laughs> Belafonte sang the Banana Boat Song, and the Boomtown Rats sang about the Banana Republic. Uh, Marvin Gaye heard it through the grapevine, oh. didn't he? Booker T and the MGs had a green onion. Uh, the Beatles looked at a glass onion. And Blue Mink, remember them, thought the world was just a great big onion. <laughs> Um, Kajagoogoo, remember them, visited the Big Apple. Um, modern Romance made everybody's salsa, delicious as a dip. Um, the Crypt Kickers made a monster mash. Um, and finally, <laughs> 10CC told us that life is a minestrone. Um, I wonder if they were right. Now then, well... Uh...